Dying Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we're about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. Are you going to insult this with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeepers' orders, one way or another. Stay back. After this, you'll start seeing a significant change in the city as access to the water supply has allowed the peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. There's even running water for the people at street level. And that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safe for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side... Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water in the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you'll have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world, your own city from the apocalypse. Each player's game experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. saved my life. He told me never to forget who I am, where I come from. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is deadly. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. Staying alive became the essence of our existence, yet life must be more than just survival. Every day, the disease tries to crush us and make us forget who we are, but I keep fighting. Aiden, and I am infected. Welcome to the world premiere of the E3 2019 Dying Light 2 gameplay demo. Dying Light 2 is an open world action RPG game that gives you the power to make choices that change both the narrative and the world around you. The mission we're about to see is crucial for the narrative. The city is on the brink of destruction as drinking water is just about to end. Our guide and friend, Frank, believes that the only person that can solve the drinking water problem is the Colonel, a man with a bad reputation, who leads a group called the Renegades from the city's pumping station. Frank uses his status to call a meeting between the Renegades and the officers from the two main factions that operate in the city. Our game's protagonist, Aiden Caldwell, is invited as well, and he's just about to join the others.
rest. We're in the central part of the city, so-called District 2. The city is made up of seven very different regions, and each one is a truly individual environment that introduces new parkour moves, enemies, and gameplay mechanics. Aiden! What, are you not going? Oh, there's a lot of them down there. Things will get fucked up at the castle, I guarantee it. You got a plan B? I'll improvise. What if he improvises? It'll work out. You so sure about that? Frank! Fuck! Knew it! <laughs> Weapon modding makes a comeback in Dying Light 2. We have a modded weapon. So now, let's find a good moment to use it. They will be free. You get out of those fuckers. I'll look after him. What happened? What happened? Those fucking renegades shot him. Where were you? <coughs> hey, Aiden. Hold still. Hey, hey, Aiden. Catch that truck, or you would never get onto that alley. The first choice. Chase the truck, or stay with Frank. Just keep him alive. Stay in contact. Now run! Damn it! Run! Hold on, Frank. Okay, let's chase the truck and see what consequences that brings. The truck is gone, but this tall building looks like a great vantage point. We should use it. As you can see, life is booming on the rooftops, and this is something you can change by your actions and decisions. Not yet. Matt? Can you see the truck? Looking us, Frank. Can't find the dark. But don't think about that now. I'm on it.
That's the Renegade's truck. I have it. I'll get them for this, Matt. Just keep your cool, kid. Remember, what matters is the water. This calls for something special. Dying Light 2, we have doubled the number of parkour moves, so let's use some of them now. deep inside a dark zone. Let's run away quickly, because the infection will kill us. Hey. UV flashlight. Very strong, but needs to be aimed. Oh, come on. Come on. Our stamina level seems to be too low to open it. Infection progresses. Our biomarker is turning red. Another way to use UV light is the UV flare. It covers a big area, but lasts only for a few seconds. Yeah. <sighs> 
take me to the castle. Are you nuts? Just drive. I was doing nothing, man. Just chilling. And bam, suddenly everyone's clawing at each other like fucking rats. You mind? I can't handle this sober. So much to see a gun, I shit myself. It's like a disability, you know? This one time I saw this guy knife two dudes in the metro, straight up stabbed them, then pulled out a grenade. How much longer? It was a fucking grenade, man. I thought it was dead. Why did you shoot Frank? I didn't shoot nobody. It must have been some kind of fuck up, man. Was he your friend? Of course he fucking was. You gonna kill me? Hey. Pick up your fucking sona. Say everything is fine. I'm here, you bitches. Where the hell you been, right? Coming in. Yeah, he's on his... Uh, uh, I, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> everything's fine. Just don't screw up the code. Someone will finally get to shoot you. Ah, uh, guys, I love you. What is the code? Three horns. No. No, no, no. Three horns. You better get it right. So this is where the Colonel resides. It seems we're entering the heart of darkness. So just to recap, the city is out of drinking water, and people believe only the Colonel can solve this. We tried to talk with his emissaries, but something went wrong. It's time to talk to this guy in person. The fate of the city is in our hands now. What's wrong? Fuck! Guys! Three short ones! What is wrong? Good thing we didn't kill Steve. Without him, and the code, getting in would be much more difficult.
I'm on the island. What's with the butcher thing? All I see is regular people. Huh. Yeah, I should talk to the colonel. The time for talk is over. Frank's dead. You there? Hey. Our friend, Frank, is dead. If we had chosen to stay with him, perhaps this story would look differently. But now, this raises the stakes for all of this. Okay, this looks like the colonel's place. Let's pay the guy a visit. Where's the colonel? He is afraid of you. Play, Anna. There's nothing to fear. So you've come to kill me, have you? I've come to turn on the pumps. I won't let you do that. Where's Frank? He's dead. Dead? How? Your man shot him. Wait, Sam. Saw it happen? You saw my man shoot? Oh, Matt did. Matt? I sent five men. Where are they? Hey! What happened? Look, we can count bodies later. The city's waiting for water. Stop! Water? You can't turn on the water from here. They played us. Don't you understand? Don't listen to him. Turn on the pump. You do know what he wants, right? He wants you to kill me. Open the doors and let his butchers in. You want water for the city? I know how to get it. But you've got to trust me. For fuck's sake, he killed Frank. The colonel looks like he knows what he's talking about. But can we trust him? On the other hand, we really need that drinking water. And we need it today. I'm turning on those pumps. What a pity. <laughs> This is another new dying light tool, the Scorpio. It's a devastating ranged weapon that basically one-shots your enemies. You are as good as this! The grappling hook can also be used during combat and combined with other moves.
I'm alive, but the colonel's getting away. Fuck him. The water's what matters. I'm turning on the pumps. Each pump should have its own valve. Fine. Problem. What's that? Repeat. The alarm went off. The pump stopped. What, what's going on, Matt? It's just an old piece of junk. Find the control room and turn on the main valve before the whole thing falls apart. I'll find it. Stay on the radio. Dying Light 2 gives you the power to make choices that have massive consequences for the whole city, the sandbox space of our game. Turning on the pumps reveals a huge open world region for you to explore, with new mechanics, quests, and things to find. It also changes the direction of the narrative. The Colonel was right. There really was a plot against him. But only he knew the area was flooded for a reason. Thank you for watching the demo of Dying Light 2. saved my life. He told me never to forget who I am, where I come from. But in this place... Hey, everyone. We've been quiet for some time, since, like the rest of the world, we had some unforeseen hurdles to clear. But the wait is over. Let's dive into the open world of Dying Light 2. The last slice of Dying Light 2 showcased the mission from the main storyline. You get out that old fuck. You saw how your decisions influenced the narrative and notably changed the environment. This time, we want to give you a broader look at the game and a sneak peek at some of the things we'll be talking about in upcoming months.
dying light too, you become Aiden Caldwell, an outsider trying to unravel a tangled mystery from his past. Its trail leads him to the city, probably the last bastion of mankind in the world. At first, you feel like this intense, brutal place will tear you apart. But then you meet the Night Runners, veteran survivors who helped people in better days. By the way, I'm Hakon. You were a Night Runner. You used to help people, remember? Night Runners are gone. Finished. A man. And although it's not entirely clear you can trust them, you need allies in the dark. <laughs> and these are the modern Dark Ages. It's been 15 years since the apocalypse and the world has changed. The old civilization has fallen, but a new one has been built on its ashes. fight desperately for scarce resources. The rules are broken, and weakness is punished. She's innocent! Three factions struggle for position in the city. Survivors pride themselves on being able to adapt to any circumstances and cobble together safe zones almost everywhere. Peacekeepers, loyal soldiers, who want to impose their version of law and order and trample all in their path. Renegades, ex-prisoners serving their ruthless colonel, seeking to become sole rulers of the city. Where is Waltz? Make him tell me. Use these factions to reach your goal. Help or harm them to reshape the city to your liking. Just remember, each faction contains complex characters. Nosy Parker, ain't you? Got some kind of bad habit of yours? So, will you follow cold calculation or your heart? The bazaar needs good people. Help us and you'll find a home here. Some in the city offer no chance for an alliance. Bandits, outlaws, and common thugs live only to plunder and kill, plunging the streets into chaos. <laughs> Yet, nightfall scares all of them equally. Darkness changes the rules of the world. As the light fails, monsters crawl out of hiding to prey on the poor souls caught outside the safety of UV rays. Hordes of infected pour into the streets like decaying lava. The deadly spawn of 15 years of mutation and evolution. Exploit the city's verticality and flee to the roofs. Though even there, you are never safe from swift and deadly virals. Or even greater threat. Yet night brings opportunity as well. Nests rife with infected during the day now lie empty. To explore them, you must tread carefully. But those brave enough to face the terrors of the night can loot a jackpot. Luckily, you have all the tools you need to survive. Your extraordinary parkour skills allow you to navigate even the most treacherous terrain. On the roofs, you can count on your parkour acrobatics to save your life. But often, you'll have to face your enemies head on. And then you have to be smart... 
resourceful, and determined. We've worked hard on the essence of our combat, making sure swinging a big, meaty weapon is fun, satisfying, and well executed. But even the most brutal fights can be tactical as well. You have multiple ways to hone your skills toward the gameplay style that suits you best. It's up to you if you focus mostly on mobility and parkour, or aggressive, blunt force combat, or a crafty approach where the tools you've created get the job done. Every ability you learn can be a game changer and possibly a new favorite move. Things move fast and quick in Dying Light 2. Each moment matters. Each move could mean triumph or defeat. Choose your actions and friends carefully. Everything you do in the city can reshape the gameplay environment, change the course of the narrative, and decide the fate of the city's residents. But most importantly, you decide your own fate as well. You're about to turn. Make sure to stay human. <laughs> So, you have an army here? Oh, the peacekeepers. Seriously riling up the bazaar folks. I'll proceed with caution. Here we going? You uh, wanted to show me something? Sure. Follow me. You won't get far without a biomarker. Without it, you don't know when you turn. <clears throat>
That's great. Sorry about this. What? Hey, sorry about what? <laughs> about that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. Fuck. <laughs> You're about to turn. Get into the night fast. As we wait for the release of Dying Light 2 Stay Human, let's take a look at the game's setting. What you're seeing here is the post-apocalyptic landscape of the city, recreated with the help of the ray tracing technology. Ray tracing makes the game more photorealistic and lets us account for details like the angular size of the sun in the sky. That's why shadows cast by objects in the game are identical to what we see in real life. They're soft when far away, like the crowns of the trees, while appearing sharp and clear when close to the ground. Note the photorealistic details of the tower and the natural alignment of shadows cast by the great pillars of the defensive palisade. This is the result of applying global illumination and specular reflections. The building on the left reflects sunlight, while the puddle shows us exact and stable reflections of other buildings. All the details of the post-apocalyptic setting are reflected in the windows and water. The experience is completed by the play of light and shadow on the building's facade. Note the subtle shading created by the ambient occlusion effect, or the reflections in the glass panes that change with the movements of the camera. Open work structures are a challenge for ray tracing. Thanks to advanced denoisers, the end result is stable, despite the minimum number of rays per pixel. Performance meets fidelity here. Global illumination on the ceiling, specular reflections on the huge matte glass pane and openwork structure, combined with shadows and ambient occlusion, that's what makes this space look so realistic. Ray tracing in Dying Light 2 Stay Human is not just limited to static objects. Within each frame, calculations are made to account for animations of dynamic objects, such as trees, characters, and moving textiles. We hope you enjoyed this short presentation. We can't wait to share our game with you on December 7th. There are sometimes I wonder what this city looked like before all this. <laughs> Probably like many others. People had their ambitions, plans, lives. Now it's all gone. The virus started it, but it was the people who made the world the way it is. This city, Villador. They tell me they had a vision. They had hope. But soon, one vision broke into many different ones. Instead of fighting together, People stood against each other. War broke out. Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? Hope died. Now the city is falling. Each time we strike down an enemy, we absorb their strength. But I can't let that happen. Not yet. I need the secrets the city holds. 
fuck. Hey! Still some rats here. I have to pick a side. The bazaar needs good people. You're doing great so far. I have to make a difference. <laughs> Let's check and see. change is a series of small gestures. How about this series? Is all hope really gone? We'll see about that.